Kamala Harris. Seriously. Joe Biden, he just messed up for sure. That's it. The election over. Trump won it. Just because of that. Just because of that VP pick. That's it. Trump won the election. Just like that. I'm going to tell you why. Do you know she done locked up? She's basically on record for locking up thousands of African Americans. I think like 1,500 to be exact. Or something like 1,000 to 1,500 um, African Americans. Most were innocent on minor offenses, marijuana, for instance, having a couple grams of joint. Like, she was with that, prosecuting them in California. As a senator in California, she was with that. You know, so she and she proud of it. And, you know, um, even even people um, lashed out on her, and she had debates with several people um, about her, her record with locking people up. Um, most African Americans in California for little marijuana charges that amount to nothing. Um, and it's a, it's a senator um, or someone's in her spot in California right now trying to fix the mistakes, trying to fix the wrongs that she done made. Like she trying to, she in her place right now and trying to free people that she done locked up for for ridiculous charges. And like I said, some innocent. Um, so this the guy Joe Biden want for real? Like is this who he, is this who he want um, to be his running mate? I guarantee you this BLM not going to like this. She stands for everything BLM is against. The defunding of police, the all this all this all these things that BLM wants, she ain't with that for real. She really not. You know, so I don't know I don't know how this going to work out. And then she and then she going live on on the Breakfast Club talking about some um yeah, uh I um I smoked in, in college. I did in hell. Um, and, oh, no, she's like, I smoked and I did in hell. Um, trying to throw a little uh, Bill Clinton refer- reference in there or whatever, like, be all jokingly. But, I mean, I ain't, ain't nothing wrong with smoking. Like, that's cool. Do what you do. But, like, it's like, how you going to lock people up for it as a attorney general, prosecutor, whatever you were in California? And now you joking about it on Breakfast Club, trying to fit in with Charlemagne and them to look cool and all this, all these things like that. Like, I really don't get it. You know what I'm saying? This was a bad chess move for for Biden. Um, like I said earlier, Trump, he got it. And then, like, the funny thing is, she just had a debate with Biden last summer. Uh, like a presidential nom- nomination uh, debate uh, last summer, and she was basically going on him, basically calling him out as a racist without really saying the term "you a racist," but um, basically saying he was with the segregation and he was with busing. And Kamala was like, "I was that girl, you know, that that didn't have um, whatever she was saying." Like, like this is ridiculous, man. This is funny though. It's it's, it's ridiculous and funny at the same time. He had a whole list of other candidates. He could have had um, Stacey Abrams. He could have had he could have had Keisha Lance Bottoms from Atlanta, the mayor for mayor. I think she was one of the nominations. I mean Elizabeth Warren. I mean even <laughs> I don't know. The list go on. She could have he he could have picked a whole bunch of other uh, candidates. He wanted a female. And then the then the people was like, uh, all right, you want a female? Make her African American. It better be African American female. And he got a somewhat African American. I mean, she is black technically, I guess, because her father, I think, is biracial, mixed black and white. Her mom is Indian, though, hundred percent Indian, I guess. So I don't know. It's, it's gonna be funny. I can't wait to hear a debate against Mike Pence in the vice president debate. Um, I wonder how they going to work out. Oh, and basically, I think they setting this up for, because um, I, right, honestly, let, let's get real. We don't we don't really think Biden going to last. Um, not saying that he going to pass away soon, but as far as his health, he might not be able to last as far as with the stamina to be in the Oval Office and, and then direct, uh, give orders and things of that nature. So they might be setting this up for Kamala 
to be in his place, be the president for 2024 if he was to get elected this year, which I doubt, which, like I said, is now over with his dead because of that, that, that move he made. Like, that was a wild one. I mean, I kind of figured he would do that, but like I said, locked up a lot of African Americans. She debated uh, Biden last year, trying to basically call him a racist. Didn't really say he was racist, but whatever. You know what I mean? Um, oh, and I mean, this is whatever, but she slept with a married man. It's San Francisco Mayor uh, Willie Brown, um, former mayor of San Francisco, the first black mayor of San Fran, too, by the way. But she slept with him while he was married. He said it was an estranged wife and they were separated, whatever the case is. But, hey, that's her. That's how she rolled, though. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. Hopefully, she fit y'all narrative, fit that, fit that, uh, fit that left liberal narrative for y'all. I hope she work out. Um, best of luck.